Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, uh, 2018, better known as Valentine's Day. We have an unhappy baby in the back seat because she's really wanting some crackers that her sister is eating. Her sister is currently opening up a pack of crackers for her. This is not satisfying her. She wants the crackers right now. Um, it is the second Wednesday of February, and on the second Wednesday of February, we go to a homemakers ministry meeting um, for a couple of hours. I really love it. Um, as you probably guessed, it's full of homemakers, and we have wonderful discussions and bonding, and then we eat some vital vittles, and then we head home. For the kids that are potty trained, they do have classes for them um, to go to. But we're not sure if Johanna will make it today because we are late. We're going to be about 10, 15 minutes late. So we're just praying that they have a spot for her because they do get full pretty quick. And one time she had to be in the rooms with the younger kids, like um, I think like two to four year olds or something, uh, because they didn't have any more spots in her age group, which was it ended up working out because her friend went with it to her. I mean, went went to it with her, so it ended up working out. But um. Yeah, I'm hoping that they have a spot for her today because she really enjoys it. I can I take you all along with us because um, it is a sacred place. It is a uh, safe place uh, for women. There are a lot of things they're discussing that, you know, is only for that space. So I cannot take you all along for the ride, but we will pop back in and see you guys, um, you know, whenever we wrap up so yeah I'm really just rushing to get us there right now I am just getting back home it was a good homemakers ministry meeting the problem was I was and am super duper 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 exhausted I'm so tired I'm so tired Isabella slept like crap last night because uh, she was having teething issues, so therefore I slept like crap last night. So, yeah, that's where we are with that. Um, so, in Homework Makers today, we talked about internet safety uh, for our kids and how they are first introduced to porn, pornography at about six years old um, through the internet, and it's, you know, not even that is direct like they go to a porn site or something it's more like they um there's an ad that pops up on some website they're on on or even on youtube when they're watching these cartoon videos and they think oh this is cute clay animation or something like that and then all of a sudden you know and they see like spider-man or elsa or something like that and they get really excited and they're like I'm, I'm gonna watch this and it looks harmless enough until the story progresses and it's either very violent or just very sexually graphic and that sort of thing so he talks about that and then um so we had a speaker talking about that and i think that i may ask her some questions in a later video um so that you guys can see what she and her husband do maybe i'll interview her but after that we had a speaker talk about basically our purpose in life what we want to do um what worked for us in 2017 what did not work for us in 2017 um, and just about reaching our goals and getting to where we want to get to in life and in God um, and just about God's timing as well making sure that we are doing it all in God's timing because uh, his timing is very important so those were a few things that we talked about but I was I closed my eyes at least twice not for long, but it was just like, my eyes were like, I cannot stay open any longer. So, um, and Isabella was struggling really hard too, because she was very exhausted, but she refused to go to sleep. I'm about to put her down for a nap now. But, while I was at Homemakers, my husband was like, did you get, did you get your, uh, Valentine's Day stuff? And I was like, no, what you talking about? So, um, I got this. I have a sneaky suspicion. Yeah that my kids did this <laughs> they drew on this little heart um last night because he had them over there being very quiet and very hush hush oh my baby candies 
He gave me my favorite treats. Hershey's with almonds. You can never get go wrong with giving me one of these. Regular size, not king size. I hate the king size. Hershey's with almonds. Dad. Which he's not watching, but if he were, dad. Um, my parents have always been a kind that are like, go big or go home. So if you like something, they're not going to just give you the regular version. They're going to give you the biggest version of it at, um, as possible. So if you love fries, then you're going to get the biggest size fries that there is because that's what you love. So they're going to give it to you. If you love tuna fish, then you're going to have a tuna fish sandwich every day for the next month because you like tuna. And so while it's wonderful, it's also very annoying. Let me also say, I'm back to uh, videoing on my camera. And I've said this in another video. I do have a black spot right there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's annoying. And I'm very sorry. But it is not in my funds right now to get a new camera. I am asking around to see if anyone has a camera I can use for vlogging. Um, that they don't mind giving to me or loaning to me. Until it is in the funds for me to get a new camera which it won't be in the funds until like uh summertime but um so yeah sorry about that you guys uh but anyway so he got me that and it was in this cute little pouch that i think he probably got from my favorite place tarjay here 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 here's your milk and then these are my favorite mints i eat like eight of these a day I love these. Only this kind. I don't like the kind in the blue pack. I only like the winter green kind and not the sugar free winter green kind. It has to be the regular one. Have always loved sunflower seeds since I was a kid. I buy a bag like once a month. And then I got two cards. So I'm going to open my cards and I'm going to read them. says be my valentine <laughs> oh and he wrote me a sweet note and gave me <laughs> gave me a little money <laughs> as a gift and then this one says love note Ooh. Oh, and that had a love note thing. Oh, and there's a baby over here going crazy because her sister came downstairs. Yeah. Hey guys, so I was playing in my room and we just got back from the home ministry and uh, we're gonna take a nap soon and. Then I don't know what he's gonna do, but we will. We are gonna go to my I wanted to night and <laughs> and it's Papa. Okay, I guess that's how he says hi. So and now this is Bunny. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, yeah, that was sweet. So, I don't know if I've explained this to you guys before, but I am not a Valentine's Day girl. Um, and here's why. I actually explained this to Johanna last night because Valentine's Day is like our favorite holiday. So, and I don't want to be a Grinch during Valentine's Day. I know that some people really, really love it. And I don't want to take that away from anyone. But here's the thing. I've always had really good Valentine's Day. Um... If I had someone in my life, then they were good to me. If I didn't have someone in my life, it was okay. My parents were good to me. I, I always had really good Valentine's Days. So, that's not the reason for me disliking Valentine's Day. For me, it's more about the commercialization of it. See, like with Christmas, 
my focus is Jesus. At the end of the day, my focus is Jesus. That is the number one thing I'm focusing on. For Valentine's Day, I feel like it was made and marketed, especially specifically by the card companies and the candy companies and the flower companies for them to make money. I don't feel like it's a genuine effort of people showing love. I also... My heart goes out to those people that have a really hard time on Valentine's Day because they don't have someone special in their life. And they are looking at other people receive flowers, whether you're receiving stuff while you're at school or while you're at work or whatever. And they're watching the people around them receive these items and they aren't receiving anything because they don't have anyone special in their life. And they're feeling like crap about themselves. And then you have the people that already have low self-esteem and if you just pay them any kind of attention then they are super duper happy with that because they have low self-esteem and you have people that prey on them and they will buy them a cheap gift from the dollar store and the person will be like you must really love me and then give more of themselves than they should because they think the person loves them when they don't and then you have the people that are not only buying a valentine's day for this girl but also this girl and this girl and yeah it's just such a not a genuine holiday to me um so that's why i don't love it i don't hate it it's fine whatever but you will never see me being like oh my gosh it's valentine's day i'm so excited like no <laughs> that that won't ever happen um so but what i do know is that my husband is someone that didn't have great valentine valentine's days so i do like to try and make it special for him and i do know that he feels bad if we don't do anything for valentine's day so you know i realize i'm not the only person in this marriage so i have to you know go with the flow of things and if he wants to do things for valentine's day then that's absolutely um that's absolutely fine with me but if he was like you know what this year you know let's just let's exchange a card and that's it that's cool with me too whatever um so yeah that's my stance on valentine's day and we just don't go overboard also i'm not a fan of flowers they are very 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 few flowers that i like like I can name three off the top of my head and I probably don't need to name any more than that because I, I'm not a fan of flowers. I just feel like, yes, flowers are beautiful, but number one, they remind me of funerals. Uh, and number two, even my favorite flowers, like once they're dead, <laughs> I mean, it's not like the gift that keeps on giving. They just die. <laughs> and they're so expensive to do that I just feel like you could give me something I really like instead instead of flowers um and something that I'll get more joy out of that I can really I don't know I'm just not a fan of flowers I guess if I was then I would be like no give me flowers give me my favorite but I'm just that's not me um I am a fan of balloons I do like balloons uh, oddly enough, my husband is a fan of flowers. So, like, I got him flowers for Valentine's Day because he likes flowers. I don't like flowers. So, but Johanna gets that from her daddy because she likes flowers too. But anyway, as Johanna said, we are all about to take a nap because mama tired. Mama is tired, okay? Not just tired. Tired. I'm tired because of this little person sitting in front of me. And so, um... Yes, I'm talking about you. Are you the reason mommy's tired? Yeah. yeah. It's you. It's you. <laughs> Do you want to show them your Valentine's Day outfit? See the little little cloud? And here's the little sweater that goes with it. It's so cute. Uh, and here's Johanna's dress. It has little hearts on it. Very cute. So... Anyway, we're about to lay it down. I will come back later. I do have a couple of things I want to do for the day later on, but sleep first. It's all about the evidence. See the little crumbs in the corner of her mouth? Isabella has already enjoyed one of her Valentine's Day gifts. So, Johanna got a little bit more than Isabella only because there's not a whole lot to give Isabella at this age that has to do with Valentine's Day. So... 
what she did get was she got this cute little stuffed dog from her papa as my dad stopped over earlier and got her that and he also bought her a bouquet of lollipops he figured that would be easier for her to eat than like a little chocolate so whatever so yes sweet girl lollipops <gasps> lollipops she had a cookie that was in this bag for me and daddy but she hulk smashed that so there it is here's the card that we got her and we got some marshmallows for the girls to share i actually was not going to buy these these are from target and they were um something ridiculous like five dollars but then yesterday i saw that target had them on sale for like a dollar something so i was like all right cool and she got this from me and her poppy and this also from me and her poppy this chocolate marshmallow heart that's gonna be yummy for her i don't like marshmallows and then we got this for her and Johanna to share. They're like little um, chocolate covered biscuit thingies. You see them right there. That we usually get in like the Japan crate box. So that's why we got that for them. And then Johanna, okay. you want to show what you got? So I got this little cute puppy for my papa, my papa. Speak up. And I have um, Valentine, and so yeah, yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> then I got. Wait, this bug is real. Oh, something else Isabella got. Mm -hmm. We got her this, this little baby lion. Isn't it cute? Rawr. Cause she's very fierce. Oh, there it so. is. There's <laughs> her. Okay, I got this little cute giraffe for my mama and my dad. And I'm going to say I'm going to be a little trappy. Oh, glittery. You can see it has glittery feet. And here's my card. And then I got this little hot that has a little unicorn on. And I have no idea what's inside. I think it's, uh, it's Russell Stover, so it has to be chocolate. So I got this, like these earrings and this bracelet. Necklace. Oh, necklace, yeah. Then I got socks. Let's see, what do the socks say? I can read them. Let me see. You plus me equals glitter. <laughs> and I got this. I saw it at the store and I want it. I didn't ask the way because it's like... You hold it too high. Bring it down a little bit. I didn't know if somebody will get this for me, but... I like it because... Actually, it has like these gummy... Um... Lifesavers. Lifesavers. And I always wanted them like in this big, big bag. And I don't want to get these ones. So mm -mm. Those gummies are not good for your teeth. And I got this watch that lights up. Ten one. Seven. Okay, there we go. So it tells you the time. It's nine nine. Nope. You have it upside down. Ten one. Alright, flip it the other way. Flip it the other way. Oh, six six. Okay. And I got this one as well on me to sell. They're stamps. And. Oh, where my cookies are falling out. And my cookies are out of the bag. <laughs> can't really eat it. I can't eat it. It's all broken up because it's well stuffed on it. So it was a pretty heart cookie. Now it's. Can't eat it. Just a piece of cookie and you no know, you can't eat it because like I said you have another treat tonight and I don't know if you're having a party at Awana so you've already had enough treats for the day so far so the, I don't know how to put this back in back so. I'll figure it out okay so I'll leave it behind myself so it's fun to get up 
then the last thing I like to have is a poppy back eraser. I love it. It's a huge eraser. That is the biggest eraser I've ever seen. <laughs> That's all the things that I got for last Wednesday. So yeah, now that daddy's home, they went ahead and they opened up their gifts as you saw. And they are about to head to Awana. And while they're at Awana, I have to cook dinner, which I'm not looking forward to. I really wish I would have just ordered this, something. Mama. And um, so I have to cook dinner and then I am going to make a little treat for them to have uh, when they get home. And I will show you guys how I make that treat. And I'm actually going to make the treat for them to have as soon as they get home. So you guys will see the whole process. And it's going to be yummy. And then I was supposed to do two, two treats today. But there's been a lot of treats today. And it's just too much. So the other treat I'll do tomorrow. I mean I'll do it tonight if I have time. But more than likely I'll do it tomorrow. So, because like I said, there's just been an overwhelming amount of treats today. Uh, more than we usually have in this house. So, just kind of want to spread it out instead of doing it all at one time. I took a nap, so my lippy's probably almost all the way off. And my face is probably greasy, but those are the breaks. Alright, I'm going to go help them get ready to leave. Okay, you guys, Valentine's Day is winding down, so I'm going to go ahead and make Johanna's treat. And it is a Cupid float, and it is very, very simple. So, I think they should be back from Awana now. It is about 8.30. Awana gets out at 8 o'clock. I told my husband to text me when they got in the car, and he did not text me. I cannot imagine that they are still there, so. I'm going to go ahead and guess that they left and so i'm gonna go ahead and do the float because i just wanted to be ready for her when she gets here plus i'm not feeling great so i don't want to have to do it once they get here so i just got a cup and i'm gonna put like two scoops of van french vanilla ice cream in it i just got the real el cheapo french vanilla ice cream from market pantry at uh target my favorite place then to that, I'm going to add some Cherry 7-Up. It's getting all nice and fizzy, so I have to wait for it to calm down. Because I have a little treat to go on top of it, of course. It is all fizzy and foamy and a little pink looking perfect for Valentine's Day now I was gonna make some whipped cream but again I'm tired so here we go with the ready whip this works just fine it does the job <laughs> then we are going to put a little garnish on top in a form of cherries and she's gonna love that because she absolutely adores cherries so I gave her two on top and then to set it off I just got a Twizzler and I cut off the ends of the Twizzler and I'm putting that in the cup as the straw and voila isn't that pretty? Now you have your float. And it's still all fuzzy and dripping. But now it's ready for her. And I am just going to go ahead and pop this into the fridge so that it does not, so that the whipped cream doesn't go ahead and melt away. And it will be ready for her when she gets home. I think they're so pretty. And yeah, so that's it for me today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. I will show you. Let's see. I made some fried rice. And then I made some like orange shrimp and broccoli. And that is what we shall have for dinner. And yeah, and then hopefully I get some sleep. And hopefully I start feeling better. So pray for your girl. Thank you. All right. See everybody next time.